my step-by-step -step guide to how I take real estate photos. Hi everybody, Rick McAvoy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk about architectural photography, real estate photography and stuff like that. Okay, this week on the blog, phone's ringing, not good, get rid of them. I have a strict workflow for my real estate photography work which helps me to get consistently the images that my clients need. This workflow has been refined over many years of working as a real estate photographer in the UK. I'm not saying to do as I do, but if you take the principles of what I'm telling you and apply it to your photography workflow, this will help you take better photos. Okay, this is years of learning which I've um, put together and apply. Um, first point really is preparation. Preparation is the key. Just as composition is king, preparation is the key. I've got some catchphrases coming out here, haven't I? Um, I've learned the value and importance of preparation because when I started taking photographs for money, I was a nervous wreck. I was all over the place. I wasn't prepared. It was horrendous. These days, it's a nice, relaxing, enjoyable process that I go through because I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it a long time. I have things in place that I can just use every time. So preparation, that's the main thing. So what am I going to move on to? Alone or accompanied? Now quite often, especially with architects, I, they tend to accompany me when I'm taking photos. Real estate stuff, not really. You, you sort of let in and left to it, let your own devices pretty much. Um, now, I don't like working with somebody there talking to me because um, I can only do one thing at once. Let's not lie about this. So working on my own is better. So what I have to do is say to a client, if he's with me or she's with me or they're with me, please, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just concentrating on getting the photos for you. It's fair enough, isn't it? Prepare the building. Now, real estate agents, they prepare buildings because they're marketing them for sale or lease so that's really good it's the problems and the challenges come when you're doing a private household for the householder because they tend not to think about this in the same way that a real estate agent does so um private householders you might have a bit more work to do i normally do arrive nice and early again something else i've learned which has been um well, the, the mobile revolution, for want of a better term, means that if I get to a shoot an hour before I'm due to be there, one of two things is going to happen. One, I've got an hour to do some work, which I can do with an iPad, phone, etc. Or two, I get to start earlier than planned, which quite often happens. So um, I get there early and I never have a stressful drive to work because I'm very early. And I can do things with the time, so it's not wasted time. So um, it's a good thing. Be hydrated. It's baking hot here today while I record this. Be hydrated, because it is. it can be quite tiring, actually. It might not sound like taking photographs of buildings, but it can be. And you can get hot and sweaty doing it, so um, not a bad thing. Camera bag. Right. I use Peak Design Everyday Backpack. The small one, the 20 litre, and there's not a lot in it. There's the stuff that I use all the time. The stuff that I don't use all the time is in another bag in my car. So that's it. I just take the stuff I need. I know what I need. I very rarely need to go back to my car for other gear. So what the gear am I talking about here? Well, my Canon 6D with Canon 17 to 40 millimetre lens. They're the go-to things. They're what I use for most of my shoots. So I assemble my gear. So I attach the three-legged thing universal L bracket to my camera. Two 200PL Manfrotto. Um, I can't say Manfrotto. <sighs> three-legged thing's much easier. Two 200PL Manfrotto mounting plates to the L bracket. And the L bracket helps me get from portrait to landscape. I nearly forgot what it's called then. Without me and my tripod head, you just clip one off, clip and stick it round and shove it in. Eh? You use a quick release plate to take the camera off and you put it the other way around. Obviously that's landscape and that's portrait. Sorry. 
Uh, I use it all the time and it's dead handy. They're not that expensive either, to be honest with you. Okay, taking the photos. Well, I have a shot list and the shot list is the mandatory shots that I have to get and I always get them. They're the must-haves. It's not acceptable to have a shot list and miss a shot. I haven't done that in years, thankfully. Now, I used to write them down and tick them off in a notebook, but these days they're in Google Keep, my um, note-taking app of choice, and I just flick through the list, see what, um, see what I've got, and make sure I've got everything there nice and complete. Camera settings. Okay, let's fly through these. AV mode. I select the aperture, camera selects the shutter. Aperture is F8 or F16. There isn't anything. That's, that's most of my stuff. This is 95 99% of the photos I take. ISO 100, the lowest native ISO on my Canon 6D, which gives me the highest possible quality of images with the minimum amount of noise. Shutter speed, nothing's moving, I don't care. I'm on a tripod. Auto focus on. HDR. Take three photos, chuck them together in Lightroom. 10 second self timer. Yes, I use a self timer. I don't use a remote release. Why would I? Uh, camera raw. Those are the main settings. Now I go into um, some of this stuff in a bit more detail, but I'm going to stop there because I think that's enough. Um, we've got a little bit about HDR. Then the last section, and I'm not going to lie to you now, I haven't finished this blog post, even though it's published yesterday. It's nailing each and every composition, which after I've finished this video, I'm going to actually just finish it off and write it. So um, that's it for now. Um, right, check out my blog, rickmacavoyphotography.com forward slash blog, if you want to. And why not try the Photography Explained podcast, my own audio offering, which is it's rather good, even if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm done. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to seeing your comments. Anybody makes a comment or gets in touch, I will get back to you, because why wouldn't I? Thank you for watching. I've been Rick McAvoy. See you on the next video. Cheers from me, Rick.